Now we need to adjust the length and pitch settings on the machine here to place the depth gauge directly under the cutter. So just like when we were adjusting it for the, uh, the cutters, press and hold the minus key to advance the chain forward. And then using the length knob, adjust the advance arm until it looks like the cutter's under the head. Use the plus key, press and hold the plus key to drop the head down. And then make your final adjustments so that the grinding wheel is just barely touching the top of the raker. Once you have all your settings put in, your length and your pitch and your depth, go ahead and press start and the machine will advance five cutters, but it will not rotate the head. If you notice the head rotating, you need to go back and change the programming so that it turns that off. Now you'll want to let the machine cut one or two cutters and then press reset to stop it. Pull the uh, advance arm head out of the way and roll back to one of the cutters that was just ground there. And once again, using your uh, depth tool, we want to check and see if we've ground enough off of those rakers yet. So get it in there nice and firm. Oh, we'll go to this one. Slide it down, turn it down until it just touches the face. Rotate it back. And then using your feeler gauge, see if you can slip it in. So in that case, it does go in. It could probably take just a little tiny bit more off. So I'm gonna drop the depth just a tiny bit. And then now that we're set, we can go ahead and press start and let it run. Well, flip the uh, flip the arm back. Now you can press start and let it run through the whole chain.